no, no. Welcome back to another Holiday Sessions. This is Hot Dabs, a very Masonic Christmas. Today we're joined by Darby and a very special guest, Masonic Claus himself. Mace, thanks for joining us today. What's up, guys? It's nice being here. It is nice being here. We're doing this for a second time because we just went live and lost everything to some corrupt files. So we're gonna try it one more time, and if we lose this, then you're not meant to celebrate Christmas with us, but that's just what somebody like me would want, the Christmas Grinch himself. I'm here to be naughty and Chaz your banger. Shout out Ben Focus for bringing me my Chaz banger shirt today. Sorry. All the naughty boys and girls and even the nice ones, it doesn't matter what you wear, are gonna get Chaz bangers because we're celebrating the holiday the only way we know how, that's with hot dabs. What do you say we start with a dab? Let's get it cracking. So what flavor are we going in on? So funny you asked that, Darby. I was wondering. We scooped a candy fumes dab, and I've already given the jar away since we've scooped it because uh, somebody that was a member of the audience left, so. Half of it's on Masonic's dab right hey, there. Hey, don't tell them about it. <laughs> hey, hey. It'll look good. Take it easy. I'm Take it off easy. with a grand dab. <laughs> they said I could indulge. <laughs> So I did. I, I, I'm just I taking regular dabs over here, guys. Yeah, today we are going to be indulging. We're going to be celebrating another great year. The last time Masonic joined us was one year ago. To this so day. we're going to celebrate one year of being a podcast, one year of celebrating with you guys, supporting us, having fun, joining along in all of our sessions. We appreciate every single one of you for being along on this journey. Guys and we, ha we have a lot of fun uh, sharing this time with you. So thanks for being here. And without further ado, what do you guys think? I think we need to get into the history of Christmas just a little bit so everybody knows what we're celebrating today. Yeah, like let us know you know? everything you know about I Christmas. I think I know a lot about Christmas. Let's just start with old Saint Nick himself. Why is it called Santa Claus, you may be asking? Well, Saint Nicholas himself was a historical figure, okay, from the third century. He was a Christian bishop in modern day Turkey. And St. Nicholas was known for his acts of generosity, such as giving gifts to the poor and helping those in need. So a lot of people say the uh, Santa Claus we know today was based on uh, him in real life. On Robin Hood? <laughs> <laughs> but then if you take it from there, the Dutch settlers took that and they deemed something called Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas is based on the Dutch legend of Santa Claus, who arrived in the Netherlands on a steamboat from Spain. Sinterklaas! Sinterklaas came with a helper named Black Peter, or Zorte P8, and over time, the Sinterklaas evolved into the Americanized version of Santa Claus we know today. <coughs> now, the Americanized version we know today looks a lot like my friend Masonic Claus's dress. He had a white beard, he's known for uh, a red suit, and uh, a jubilous manner. And a badass now, hat. Badass hat. Where did that all come from? <laughs> yeah, where do you think that came from, Mace? I fucking forgot that the pop quiz, I would have failed miserably. Thomas big Nass, big. that's that your boy. Mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, Thomas Nass. Thomas Nass, that's Mace's yeah. boy, came up with the idea. <laughs> in illustrations in the 19th century, the political cartoonist Thomas Nast played a significant role in shaping <coughs> The popular representation of what Santa Claus is today. His illustrations in Harper's Weekly depicted Santa Claus in the red suit, a rotund figure, and a white beard. He also established other iconic elements like the North Pole. Ah, yeah, that's what's up. What about the reindeer? Who did that? The reindeer. Flying on reindeer? Well, you actually have candy canes on your head. You I know where the elf lives. You know where the candy canes came from? The candy canes were actually Belgium? invented 300 years ago and they were just straight sticks at first. They didn't even have the peppermint rings. That's crazy. They were added later. And you know what solidified the way Mace is dressed as today? Coca-Cola. This is, you know that? this is a man that knows his Christmas history. Me and Mace actually, we don't talk about it a lot, but we went to Christmas Community College together, the Back CCC, the, the triple C's, we call it throughout the C's. We go through, throw up the C's. We're in Triple C's Community College of Christmas. That's where we came from. That's where we got our degree. And you're right, Coca Cola is responsible. And why? Because they're corporate and they got enough for the marketing and the advertising. Coca Cola decided we're going to take this man that everybody loves and we're going to make him drink our product because if he drinks our product, everybody else is going to love our product as well. Hot Dabs uh, water coming soon. Hot Dabs water, Rig water, only to be enjoyed at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Fire. Yeah, you gotta sign a waiver to drink our water. It's just hot. Liquid death water thought they had something. Guess what? Our water really kills you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyways, have you ever drank to... boiling water before, Darby? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Once. Yeah. It's like, uh, oh shit. Fuck, what was that movie? Nah, fuck it. Somebody sprays uh, hairspray in their mouth to change their voice and they impersonate another dude. I would fuck it. Ace is wild or Ace is something. I'll do that next time. Yeah. Stay tuned. How was the dab? Everybody took theirs? Yeah, that was fire. I took mine and we'll go in again right yeah, now. Yeah, me too. I want to do another one. I don't now, know. Mace, you were explaining to us before we had some files go corrupt that your strategy for dabbing is you heat up, you let it cool down on purpose, you miss your dab, you let it heat up again, you maybe cool down, miss it again, but then the third time, you'll go in, and this is on purpose. This is strategy, correct? This is knowingly. This is because I'm bracing myself. Sometimes I'll put like you know, too much on the steak, but it's just at this point, it's insanity. You put it so. on your plate, so you gotta eat it? Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm used to it. Um, I think I'm, I think I like the physical effect of it too. You know, like the, the big combustion Sometimes you get high just from scooping it. You look at it, you're like, ah, oh, that's how high like, I'm gonna get? Okay. Like a small dab, regular dab. I haven't gone back to it in a minute. And it's just, you, there's so much hash around now that it goes bad, so you, you know, it's only good to go I, smoke it. I'm notorious for uh, ruining hash by keeping it too long and taking yeah. too small of dabs too often. Yeah. Why is that? You need to increase your usage. I mean, <laughs> D2T. You, you, you can, I guess you're right. I need to do <laughs> You heard D2T's out. Yeah, I do like half grams all the time here. I just need to start scooping half jars, just. Yeah, Mace, you know about D2T? D2T. What does that stand for? D2T. What does it stand for? Dab to temp. Dab to temp. 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 So it's the ratio. It's not necessarily the temperature you go in at, but it's the combination between the size dab and mm. the temperature Scoop to temp that ratio. really determines your experience. Like the reason I go 660 when I'm dabbing 0.5 and above. See? So that's the mace diagram. Everybody is going to find their own Goldilocks zone. And Goldilocks zone is a term that I came up with on my own. And Simply Adam has never had a unique or original idea of his own. And if you hear of Simply Adam selling frying pans, ask if they actually function because it's all art decor. They don't even fucking work but that's neither here nor there you know what does work d2t and masonic seeds they'll germinate they'll, they'll pop germinate. they'll grow you'll get some hash from them speaking of hash mace you've been doing a lot this year it's been 12 months since we last sat down with you tell us a little bit about what's been going on what have you been working on this past year oh man uh, barbara's bud hybrids are, are are something old that's new and just coining Finding old shit that's new, finding new shit, growing everybody's gear, tons of karma gear. What got you on the barber, bud? That's kind of well known in Canada and overseas, but not so much in America. Yet. Nostalgic terps. Let me tell you what got me on the barber, bud. So, uh, my buddy uh, Triple OG kind of steered me down that path mm -hmm. with that Pink Fifty Seven stuff he's he's working with. So I tried that and kind of found out what's in that realm. And then uh, this year that I went to. Spanibus, mm -hmm. unknowingly, I'm, I'm doing my trek as a seed uh, buyer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to every booth that I can. I'm going to Karma's booth, going to all my- And this is at the actual Spanibus Expo. Yeah, this is yeah. at Spanibus this year, the, yeah, in March. It was a good I, one. So, and then I, I just stumbled upon the Great Gardener's booth. He's the guy that bred Brett Barbara's bud. Great Gardener. The Great Gardener, he's a Canadian breeder. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like. Like this is the place, you know. Like mm -hmm. I've heard this strain, and this is the, this this is a great strain. I know it is, cause even my buddy Macho Melt, since like 2017, he's been screaming Barbara's Bud from the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. And this is when I'm on the papaya craze, doing all this other shit. I'm like, this, what the fuck is it with this guy and this Barbara's Bud? He's out of his fucking mind. Whatever. Flash forward to finally these past couple years that passed. Whatever. I run into the Great Gardener. I'm like, yo, who's Great Gardener there? And I think the actual Great Gardener was fucking with me. He's like, oh, he's the Great Gardener. And and maybe it was the other way around. Maybe he, maybe the guy that was the Great Gardener was getting pointed out by his helper. Either way, I was there. I was stoked. And I'm like, yo, let me... The French Fire Barb had just won first place some shit there because they have so many little... Comp, not little, but they Spin have, off, yeah, they yeah, have so many comps there that, you know, there's a couple things that win. There's the Ego Clash. There's the... Masters of Rosin and Lord knows there's three other fucking ones. Dabadoo, yeah. organic. Exactly. Yeah. Something had won uh, first place and it was the French Fire Barb and I noticed it was on their menu. I was like, dope, let me get that pack. So I got the French Fire Barb and I'm like, yo, yo, you guys got the Barber's Butts? Let me get a pack of the Femmes and the Regs. And I, I took those with me and they had a, a whole bunch of Romulan hybrids. Took all those back home with me, grew them out and sure enough, just like that, that shit that won Legends from the homie Triple OG, uh, I had popped those Barbas, bud, and yeah, like like fucking 
easy. I rolled the dice 777. Every Fino was very much so like that shade of gray. And okay, it was so cool nice. as fuck. I have a bunch of Barber's Bud Finos at the house right now. And not only that, but I grabbed Grateful Seeds as seed stock. And they do hybrids with Barber Bud stuff already. So they have like Fruit Joy, which I believe is a Papaya Barber's Bud Fino. And they hybridize that into a couple other things. I brought all that stuff back with me on the strength of them being great hash producers and hash breeders from Europe or, you know, that side of the world. And I brought that back home with That's me. That's sick. You got them and the hybrids. So you like fast forwarded like three or four seconds. Exactly. Already. So I got the hybrids. Intense. I got the barber's butt and I'm already playing with the shishka berry stuff. Yes, I got so, the shishka berry. I've been waiting. So that's what I'm like. And I even grew uh, this other breeder's shishka. So I'm like, you know, no no stone is left unturned. And and I have my barber's butt uh, pheno selection already. And I have some, I do this natural selection. It's a coin term that I do for the pollinations that I do. I've done single male pollinations. I have award winning stud common denominator and award-winning genetics of course i know how to do single male pollinations but this new thing i do is a natural selection that's what i coined it it's just the easiest way of describing my open pollination with different males from different seed stock mm -hmm. as clear it is like what yes that's what it is mm -hmm. so i have some natural selection barbara's bud seeds that i harvested this week yesterday and the days uh, past that i'm really really looking forward to popping and you know, some of the potential males are like, there's a, uh, a stray Tanzania, which is an East African progeny land race male, chilling right next to it. And there's like an OG Kush puck hash plant from Cricket to Cicada. And Lord knows there's like 10 other ones, but those are the ones that are like adjacent to it. So when it is open pollinated like that, is that where you see like three strains being all labeled in the cross? Or where were you give the credit to? I wouldn't put that oh, okay. because, because you, you know, that's already holding it down. So yeah. I'm just like true to the craft, even if it is adjacent to those three, yeah. I just label it natural selections now. At times the, whatever they- Prior to that, I had like bug. the no Wilson line mm -hmm. and it was less males. It's like, all right, we got four males. This is easier to track. Mm -hmm. Now it's all like, nah, what are the, 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 the males? Hey Mace, what are the males in this pollination? Oh. Any of the seed stock that I pop in that run are the potential males that could have been pollinated. Yeah, yeah, because you'll get Makes different sense. notes on everything and you're like, oh, this was definitely this, but then this side of the plant got this one for at, sure. And at the end of the day, the selection starts when you select your seeds anyways. Yeah. So it's all like, oh, all this stuff's great. My whole rhetoric behind it is I've d I, I still have single male pollination offerings. I have Wilson Femmes, I have Honey Bee Wilson hybrids that I made, but it's like, this is the quickest way to capture lightning in a bottle mm -hmm. yeah. as far as breeding is concerned. I feel like that's kind of, I don't want to say hill tech, but you know, that, they've been doing that kind of stuff up with there and like just bringing fire ass flavors. And that's where some of the best stuff in the world. Where does so the you, best stuff in the world come from? You know what I mean? And using that kind of strategies is an amazing idea. In my opinion, you're going to get some fire flavors, you know, maybe writing it down for the future may not be as easy, but when you get certain flavors, you're gonna be like, that's for sure. That's yeah, good. one of the many styles, you know? Yeah. We do femmes, we do mm -hmm. regular single male pollinations. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a team effort, you know, yeah. shout out High Definition Genetics. He makes the uh, Wilson famous for the team and okay. any other helper along the journey that will take it amongst themselves to be a part of something bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah you need a team, man. Mind. You yeah. can't yeah. underestimate how far it goes. It's hard to do anything yourself. Uh, you get so far by yourself, but you can get a lot farther with a good team around you. Straight up. And you can get a lot farther with a good dab around you. Even, I'm ready even for better. better. You guys ready for another one? Yep, and the team loves taking dabs. Shout out the team. Shout out Tio's at the house. Just holding it down. Take a dab, Tio. You worked too hard today. Move, Let's go. All right, for a second dab, I just scraped some of this honey bee that we did uh, on the footage, the deleted footage that will never be seen. Um, so you can either go back in on that, or we have some selections here. Unless this you're is on our Patreon. Chem banger. This is the Ken. Yeah, the, even the Patreon can't get it. That footage is gone forever. Oh man. This is Chem D Sure Banger. This is a real deal resin, single source, 2023. Um, super wet consistency. It was a blended wash between the Sure Banger and a Chem D. Check yeah, that out. That's let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, that smells dangerous. Right. Damn. And for this one, I figured, why don't we have some Christmas festivity? Whoa, whoa, what we got over oh, there? I'm getting PTSD, motherfucker over here. <laughs> <laughs> Diana's like, yeah, <laughs> what the hell? This is the hot dab wheel. This is the rosin roulette wheel oh, presented that's... by Rosin Evolution. Crazy, crazy, man. 700, that ain't too hot. It's we... not bad. That's we doubt it down. Though. 
I was it used to be nuts. When you did season one, bro, we didn't know what we were doing. 892, 840, 842, my ass. Whatever, it's, it's like 850. This, shit, this shit's fucking flush. Good enough. Here we go, baby, let's go. Oh my God. Somebody needs to create a dab wrong for people that just want to take hot dabs over fucking 800 degrees. Jesus Christ. Remember I told you guys. I know, and I had to do three more, I'm on season three, so we were like, let's dial it back and see if we can get a couple You're more maniac. seasons out of this guy. You're maniac. So, we dialed down the wheel a little bit. It has some fun choices that we can land on. It might help us determine how we're gonna do this next dab. Darby, you wanna spin the wheel? Let's give it a spin. Of course. Boom. Gave us just what we needed. The perfect temperature, every time. Jeez. The wheel never lies. The wheel gives you what you need. It does. It's a self-serving wheel. It's a self-serving prophecy. Um, I think everyone at home should have one. We're gonna be offering a hot dabs rosin roulette wheel coming straight to your door soon. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. You see what he did there? <laughs> he's, he didn't give you. He's thinking of yeah. <laughs> he's thinking of a wheel to jump. <laughs> oh, he's thinking of a wheel. The wheel to said, right in the wheelhouse. It's that's right in his wheelhouse. <laughs> ah. Now we're all having fun. <laughs> Anyways, back with stab. I'm high as fuck. You going in on I know you've been doing like Graham Dabs all the time. I mean, I'm just, I'm that's what I said. We're getting high today. Yeah, and yeah, don't. trips me out. I smoke a bunch of dabs. Here, baby, super like Ken Banger. Ken Banger. You're doing more honey bee, you said? Yeah, I had to go back in. If you oh, want to do a mix, you uh, can. If you want to finish the jar and do a little chem with it. Uh, let's do the, the, the mix with the chem and finish the jar thing. Mace is celebrating accordingly. I got some of this and I'm smoking. Papaya. One of my favorite strains of all time, as papaya. everybody at home knows, I only smoke papaya in competition formats. You're smoking papaya right now? Yeah. I got one of those jars at the house. Yeah, it's a good Who one. is it? I haven't smoked it yet. Shout out Ashen the homies. Ashen Flowers, at Terry. Ashen Flowers. Shout out, shout out Terry. He gave, me, <laughs> he gave me a huge fucking jar, and I haven't tried it yet. It smells great. It looks yeah. even better. He yeah. gave me a jar of watermelon Rolex that was You want to give us some of this? I'm going to... Do, mix, it, mix them together. I'm, I'm, I'm doing hot dabs today, baby. I'm doing Boom, real, 700. We're smoking real deal resin today, oh, big dog. You know what only, I'm saying? Only dabs guaranteed That's to do it at 700 today. degrees. Yeah. Not intended for use with a Puffco product. No. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Don't. You, have an, you have an agent? Yeah. No, Mace is my agent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have his Masonic Claws. He only comes out once a year for, yeah. for, for about 12 days a year. I have an agent. Ooh. Whatever you need, big dog, I'm here for you. All right, 700. Do you have the Dabray right original? <laughs> I have the uh, whatever it reads that it feels fine. You yeah, know? you do the big one. Let me let me do oh, that we can one. Use the, predator. the Predator? Yeah, so it's yeah. actually at 700. No, but this is like a car. You oh, know, it's shit, like, I'm at 718 already. I gotta yeah, go. This needs to be warmed up, right? You just gotta kind of know how Mine fast it goes. It's too hot, so. I think oh, I'm you gotta redo it. It's like a 620 now. Oh man, that's no, definitely no. 600. Yeah, that's 690. All right, guys, I'll hold myself to a 590 standard. or some uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like at 608 or some shit. The hottest on it is 620 when you're doing it. Don't you play with 30. <laughs> <laughs> 720. I'm on your ass right now, big What's dog. What's it reading? All right, now you're good. All right, let's see what we're doing. Now 700. All right, I gotta get it on the on the on the. It says too hot on this. 720, 716. Okay, so basically, I can go in. 708, 705, 700. You're good. Oh, we're zebra striping. Oh, oh, he threw the stripes on it. Oh, we can start our stripes. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Out of control. <laughs> That's a zebra striper. <laughs> That's a zebra striper. Okay, mine's at 460. Time to take God a dab. Damn. <laughs> Has anybody passed out yet? No. Well, we're gonna have to end of this episode for sure. Because <laughs> we got some crazy shit lined up. All right, let me. I added more to the stick. <laughs> yeah, you're going crazy, Mace. You doubled down this on the dab. That's insane. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You no, can, I love it. You More can read me, all right? Time. You can read me. You want to throw some papaya on there, too? I'm good. I'm going to try this one over here. I'm going to try this one. You shut down the papaya earlier. I'm going to let it uh, get real <laughs> hot and then drop down. Look at Mace's, how he looks on here with his mustache. 
Oh shit, that's the OG mustache. You look like straight up. Like he's hot right now, but his mustache is cool as fuck. You look like you're out of the 80s and you're just ready to fucking be that movie star of like an 80s fucking action thriller. No doubt. All right, let's see. You actually happens. look like Hulk Hogan. It's insane. That is pretty Hulk Hogan. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. That's Wait till I show you this. Let's see what we got over here. This is gonna be crazy. You let me You're know. You're at 975. I just want to know what the comparison oh is to. Oh my god! Look doing at this it. dude. 700. Very Masonic Christmas. I mean, you have enough on there not to burn it. Just get it all in there at hey, once. Don't tell them that. They don't know that. D2T. It's just for the camera. I mean, it's gonna I'll hurt. I'll cut that part out. No, it's fine. I'm, no, I'm gonna add that part only. <laughs> I, I burnt my nail just by putting that in there at 700. Now you're at 740. 740. Okay, this thing's off. 720. Like, just like 20. 700. 700. Let's go. D2T. D2T. That was an excellent example of D2T. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Our Spanish Jesus Christo. Damn, he vibrated the whole table. It's not, it felt like a fucking phone was just going off. Yeah, he needs to hit the black market. God damn. This is like bad Santa 3. That's a <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm hot as shit in this damn Grinch suit now. Let's Dab go. Santa. That was good. That was good. Oh, Speaking of rip. Christmas, you know how I like to start off my Christmas? How do you like to start off your Christmas, big dog? Three rips, usually at 600 degrees. <coughs> then, a nice Christmas flick. That is talking good. about a movie. Oh, I thought you like playing paper football. No, I'm talking about a movie. And I'm talking top five Christmas movies of all time. We got a better list now. We Hell do. yeah. Now we got a... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> National yeah. Lampoon's Christmas Vacation might be number one. That's a good Two one. Two might be going with Elf. Yep. You know? That's a good one. That's yeah, all around fun. Three, <laughs> Home Alone. Home Alone's fire. Four, Grinch. Got, die, Grinch. Oh, yeah, Grinch die above hard. Die Hard. And I think Die Hard kicks it in. Die Hard might five. kick it into five just for being that action thriller. Uh, unless you love Rudolph really. Claymation. Friday. Friday is one you can definitely toss in there. Yep. We Just, you know, these are good ones. Oh yeah, there's Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Honorable Before Christmas. mention, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep. And fuck, I think. Drop other it. ones in the comments. Let hey, us know your in favorite. The comments, we'll least, pick the favorite one. Subscribe and, and then put your with comment. Yeah. Jack Frost. I'll be home for Christmas. Yeah. Yo, Jack Frost. Yeah. Is that a horror movie? I just saw something that doesn't belong in this world, and it's out there killing my friends. Now tell me what it is. Jack Frost. <laughs> I no, think that's the one where he's with, with uh, uh, what's his snowman. name? Snowman. With Batman? Okay. Is there a Michael movie Keaton? where there's a snowman that's like a a, a killer? Yeah. Oh, there should be. I think there is. If there's not, we're going to cut this out and make a movie. Right? Oh, that was it. He just was painted white. No, nah, well, I swear to God, <laughs> they used to show trailers of like a a snowman with like creature teeth and shit back I, in the day. I think I know what you're talking or about. Or maybe it's like just a... the Mandela effect. Oh, I don't shit. fucking know. What other Mandela effects have you run into? The, uh, nah, that's it. I, we, we got the Bernstein Bears for the kids that for one's Christmas, like... and I was like, I don't know if I, <laughs> I, don't know if I remember taking notes. Hey, that sounded pretty empty, bro. What about Groundhog Day? Is oh it? yeah, that, that was a good one. Is yeah. it? Yeah. That's an old school one. Yeah, that, oh, that's a good one. Is Snow that the... Day. Groundhog Day. We Which watched... one? Snow Day with I the plow. Snow it's them versus the plow man. Plow man, yep. What about the one with Adam Sandler, the animated one? Oh, Eight Crazy Nights? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good, good one. one. Sleeping. Yeah, damn. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, we got a top 20 list. Let's go. Yo. The comment section is going to go crazy Yo. with this Yeah, one. they're like, you forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Comment below with the movie we forgot. The that's most your favorite. obvious one. We're definitely probably forgetting a big one. What's your favorite Hanukkah movie? The only one I know is Eight Crazy Nights. That's a good Eight one. Eight Crazy Nights, big dog. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, it's good. What else is there? Oh, just big dabs. Big dabs. That's what there is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What about Christmas songs? What's your favorite Christmas songs? Oh man, the fucking Mariah Carey song's annoying as fuck. But, but that's when you dude, know Christmas she's is everywhere. starting. Where she gets a check every day. <laughs> <laughs> she's getting paid. Shout out Mariah Carey. Yeah. Uh, Christmas songs that are fire. Can't really think of any. Dashing man. through the snow. Do you know what the highest selling Christmas album of all time is? 
Elvis. Shit. Elvis Christmas album by Elvis Presley. This was released in 1957. It features a mix of the traditional Christmas songs, and the album has seen enduring popularity to this day. Rocking That's around the Christmas They don't call him the king for nothing. Damn, he's good. That dude used to party hard. Right? Oh, yeah, down on the shitter. On Christmas. Yeah. Bless his heart. That's Did you know that the actual incorporation of Christmas, though, was used as a way to try to convert people into Christianity? And it was kind of surrounded by the pagan holidays already. I've heard something. You know something anything like about this, huh? Yeah, you know what? Actually, something like that. Yeah. Maybe. What do you know about this? You know, like uh, just incorporating stuff that's already there and trying to like assimilate with it exactly and make it safe to the people that you're imposing it on because of the fam familiarity factor. Yeah. Like, so people are already celebrating around this time of the year. If you bring in a religion that's similar to that, they might be like, oh yeah, I'm already kind like, of like, doing that. Like a lot of people. Uh, they used to like worship, <laughs> look at the stars and shit. Exactly. So you'll see a lot of the star astrology, even in a, what's that shit called? When when little baby Jesus is in the middle and- The manger? The, the manger, yeah. the, the, what's manger that? Scene. The scene. The scene, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that's actually, acor according to like secret- Planets. Uh, uh, knowledge, like that's, that's, that's yeah. supposed to be a bunch of constellations mm -hmm. around Jesus and, and the mom's supposed to be like, the rising moon and the dad's supposed to be the sun or some shit but that's just all from some book that i fucking read you know yeah that sounds like a good book maybe we'll leave a link below if you guys are lucky yeah. but what he's talking about yeah it's the winter solstice coincides with the same time mm -hmm. that the christian holiday of christmas is celebrated and many pagan cultures celebrated the solstice which is the shortest and longest night of the year shortest day longest night and as at the time of rebirth and the return of the sun so some people say the sun is like jesus is the sun you know yeah um, the roman festival of Saturnalia and a Germanic Yole celebrations and various other solstice festivals involve feasting, gift giving, and lights. The Christian church aligned the celebration and the birth of Jesus with these festivals to make the conversion Christianity more appealing to the pagans. Heard about See? that. Astrology and fucking right? assimilating. With it's people. just like Coca-Cola putting that Coca-Cola bottle in Santa's hand. Yeah. Well, it's like, right? If you bring in their culture. I like Santa. Now I like Coca-Cola, you know? Yeah, they're like, oh, I guess I could be Christian. They got my heritage in there. So I guess it's all inclusive. I don't need to be super whatever I am. But, you know, your culture is your history. You don't want to forget that. What about this Christmas tree right here? Why do we put a damn Christmas tree in our house? for Christmas. It smells Why is it a Christmas tree? Why is it a pine tree? That's a good question. Be sick of it as a little <clears throat> palm tree. The decorations of evergreen trees have been used. Evergreens, hollies, mistletoe <clears throat> as pagan roots as well. In ancient cultures, the evergreen plants symbolize life and renewal during the harsh winter months. Romans, Celts, and Norse peoples all incorporated evergreens into their winter festivals. The Christian church adopted these symbols, associating them with eternal life and the promise of Jesus. That's crazy. Right? So see, today we don't even know why we have this tree here, and boom, Some there it is. marketing. That's dope. That's Source of life and renewal. I like all that type of right? history. We're all learning a little bit together, and it could be all wrong. So if I am wrong, leave a comment below, and we'll do a, a recourse episode to correct everything we were wrong about. But until then, you guys ready for another dab? Yeah, let's do another one, Big Doug. Yeah, and ready? if it's right, drop a comment in the comments also. For this next dab, it's a holiday. I think we need to celebrate the best way we know how. What uh, what way uh, can we celebrate like that? By pressing fresh off the press. Sick. Fresh off the press dabs. Let's go. You want to do one fresh off the press, mate? I'm nice? down to do whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> when you dog. did the episode last time, we didn't have this feature, so I figured we got to let you try all the new assets of the show. Yeah, hook it up, man. I am stoned as fuck now, too. Mission accomplished. How high are you right now? Really stoned. Like one out of ten. We only have two more dabs, and I'm like, whew. Man. Like this one and one more. The last one's going to be a doozy, though. I'm ready for this one. I don't know how if I'm ready for the next one. So I'll just take them one at a time. Are you guys taking dabs with us at home? How's your Christmas going? And if you're not, you better be. What do you want for Christmas? <clears throat> hmm, that's a good question. I think I have everything I need. What's so, up? World yeah. peace, maybe? Yeah, world peace, please. Yes. Peace. That's you? a PC ass answer. Fucking uh. If you could have pollen from any plant in the history of <laughs> mankind, what would you get? Man, I'm I'm in the position where fuck, I just kind of have all the tools that I can. Already did. Kind of Already got it, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Quit it, nah, man. Nothing really, you know. Everything's yeah. Gucci. 
I was telling somebody, right? Like, what's the perfect plant, right? A plant that finishes as quick as a plant could finish. 45 yeah. days. Mm -hmm. A plant that smells like your favorite terp. What's That's your favorite terp? terp? Oh. That's what it smells like. Depends what year. Skittles, yeah. honey, banana. And it grows as good as a plant can grow within that time frame. Mm -hmm. We'll say, or as big as a plant could even get. It'll get as big as a land race and chunk up mm -hmm. all within that 45 day period Ooh. or whatever. It smells like your favorite thing. And no it's rain. It's PM no. resistant. Ooh. It's it's pest resistant. That's the perfect plant. Everyone's looking for the perfect plant. That was a chem dog I had back in the it. day. That's like it. early 2010. That thing got so big it had like seven and nine leaves every time. Dark ass leaves. It was purple on the bottom. I was like, oh my god. And there's a lot of plants like that. Once you pop enough shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some are better than others, but if it's a turf you like, it doesn't matter. Man, it's just People get so wrapped up on looking at each other's work mm -hmm. and, and people are live like in a terp echo chamber or like it really is. It's like a, a vacuum chamber. And then it's like a legality is doesn't help either because uh the people that have spaces to do these type of things and keep them Projects, around. Yeah. Like it costs money and yeah, it's, they have to have overhead of X amount per like it's not in their per, best interest to pop any three per any seeds, you know? No, yeah, I've never they can't I'm devote reading any canopy space to that shit. Yeah, you can't make And then the money. ones that do have the space, they're no one to tell you that it's good or not. They're just you know, I hate to be that guy, but like Ron Swanson at Home Depot, like, you can't tell me nothing about this. There's only a couple people that I could be like, oh fucking we're we're on the same mm -hmm. energy. Not that there's nobody bigger though. And it's just a dialogue that you're having at that point, rather than someone telling you you're doing something <laughs> wrong or right. Yep. You know, you're expanding on the turf profile that you're looking to gain, and then you're discussing what turps may be able to be introduced in order to grow that, you know, profile. Yep. So, are you ready to take this fucking dab of strip fresh off the press? Let's do oh, this. Fire. Let's do Our designated squisher, Christmas Tony Hawk, aka Tony Christmas, aka. Christmas Hawk. Mr. 900 himself. The 900 reindeer is coming galloping in straight from the North Pole. Out of control. And that's because our boy, Mr. Nast, made the illustration about him coming from the North Pole. If not, he'd be coming from Jamaica. That's where my reindeer are from. Jamaican Jamaica. reindeer. Jamaican man. Don't you know? Through here straight from Jamaica, man. Oh, coming this? straight down that? the chimney. If I want Jamaican. That's you know how to touch these reindeer? Stuff. Reindeer aren't allowed to smoke. What up, what up? How you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. Have you ever heard of a Christmas hawk before? I have not. This dude does 900s, he retired, and now he's doing 900s on the whole dicker. Come on, come on, get yourself down, Christmas hawk. <laughs> Christmas. What are we gonna be pressing today? I believe we're pressing some black ice again. Dude. Oh, black shit. Ice. Have you ever heard of black ice? I haven't, what's that? <laughs> it's what? pretty perfect for a Christmas episode. It be careful out there if you're driving today because there can be ice and you don't even know it. What Black ice that looks like this, if you hold it up over here. Lower. Lower, there, there it is. is. Look at it greasing through two bags. That's a sign of some good melt. Juicy. And that's black ice. If you drive on that, you will wreck. So slow the fuck down. All right, Mace, you're going in today on some black ice. Do you know the genetics behind this? We'll put it down below. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Don't worry, it's Because it does dig the squisher. It's there. Not a dictionary. He's a reindeer too, so he's doing a lot to... Got a lot going on, it's okay. And we're gonna be pressing at 180 degrees on these low temp plates. We have the plates heated up. We have them preheated, right? Oh, yeah, they're ready. Oh yeah, they're ready. It is ready. Rip, roaring, ready This to isn't go. our first rodeo. We're gonna be using 25 micron rosin evolution mesh bags, double bagged so it doesn't blow out. And we're gonna be using 55 pound rosin evolution parchment paper. No blowouts, no whammies. I love that parchment paper. Rosin Evo, where the winners go. There's never a worry. Yesterday, we did a press folded in half and it didn't blow out. Damn, that's impressive. What are we doing today? How many grams? <clears throat> 15. 15 gram press today. Let's see how it does. 15 gram dab. You ready? This is going to be some black ice courtesy right. of Rosin Evolution. You're at 1060. On low plate. We're going in on that 25 micron mesh you, bag, double bag, 55 pound parchment paper, so no blowouts. Sit right here, Mr. Claus. Masonic right. Claus is coming in for a very M Masonic Claus. fresh off the bread. Today he's celebrating yep, for good. all the good boys and girls. You're ready to go. All right, but where do I go? Like right here? Wherever you feel like. Oh, yeah. shitty. Just keep going. Just let it, let it flow. Baby. 
Yeah, Dick yeah. Ferris ain't in there. I went at like a thousand degrees or some Ooh, shit. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Blow on your hot dabs, baby. Ooh, Keep that finger blow. Like Coming in hot. Like a fajita. I still had that chaz the shit out of my bag. He's earning his stripes. Merry Dang. Christmas, motherfuckers. This is what you wanted to see, people. Holy shit. That was like 3,000 degrees. Ah, he spun his banger, he hit it so hard. Disgusting. Ugh. I'm gonna be high school high after this. Oh, Another great movie. Fucked. Jesus fuck. Yeah. Oh. That was so hot. <laughs> your turn, your turn, Dustin, your turn, Dustin. <laughs> he burnt the paper. It's your turn, Dustin. Uh, here, I'll try to do one. I was like, how do I do this? And then I figured it out. There's like a little gap that you You want to try have. it, Darbs? I mean, we will <laughs> do a Christmas fresh off the press. God Hooray. damn. Thanks, thanks for all's and Evo. <laughs> oh, God. Making damn. all the dreams come true. The Hash Fantasy Factory. <laughs> <laughs> the Rob Deer. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was crazy. Love it. Look at that. 700. You want the camera want to see this one right here on the little thing? Oh, it's on you, buddy. Look at like over here on this thing. Over oh, here. put it on the. Oh, oh no, it's gone. It's Never mind. It's up over here now. It's okay. Switch it on your ass. Oh, you guys do want to see? Did it look good on that? You guys do want to see, huh? Yeah, they want to fucking see. Disgusting. Look at this. Yeah, they want to right, see. This is post. I don't even know. Apocalyptic oh, shit. shit right there. Oh, bad. I'm gonna be high school high after this shit. Look at it. Still oh, sizzling. Oh my god. Still what sizzling. The fuck. Terrible. What did you just do, bro? <laughs> once a year. Once a year. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> he said once a year. God damn. Kill and it. it's the most wonderful time of the year. Eight hundred. Right. This one's from my boy. Going in right here, right here. Eight two seven. This side on each side. Darby and Dustin, same time. Disgusting. Savages. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <coughs> <coughs> fuck that. Well, that was delicious. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a French move. <coughs> God damn. Now Can I'm gonna sell that Sam's press. Hungry? No terps wasted. After I ripped that down, I'm selling that press to all the fucking boys and girls out there for 100 a G. That's a real Grinch move. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. I was fucking. Just kidding. That's real cannabis. That. Chris's hash we're pressing. And you can have second dab hash under the Cannabis Chris brand coming soon. We dab it first, then Cannabis Chris will sell it to you. Cannabis Chris hash, a Christmas special. We put it in the center like a thumbprint. And we call it a collaboration with Simi because everything's his idea. <laughs> or he'll sue you. Mm hmm. God damn. Get in there, big dog. Brother. Actually, you owe someone money. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be 40 bucks. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a slammer. Right? That's what we came here for. My brain is like right here. It's oh, like yeah. just like grab their fingers and just start massaging that shit. But that little, that but little the brain. metal thing? But the brain, the actual brain. Under the under the skull? Under the skull. I feel like I'm on Santa's sleigh right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fucking buzzing. Ow! Mission Every, accomplished, guys. <laughs> oh, God damn. Every dab has gotten a little bit better. <laughs> Man, you guys are never going to get the lost files. You missed out on a whole dab. Mm. The whole secret dab. tapes. That, and that, the folks, is how files. you do a 1080. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I a 1080. Oh, fuck. Right? That was hot as fuck. Proud yeah. of all of you. That was hot as fuck. Jesus Christ. That's like one of those accidental dabs, you know? Yeah, that was a good one, though. When you get your new Terp reader, meter. Your all calibration was off. Yeah. Oh. I'm like, oh, go take the dab <laughs> before it like drips everywhere. So I ran over there. You were ready. Took it to the chest. And next thing you know, we got a... <laughs> a sizzler? You got a brown banger now, buddy. Fuck! God damn, my throat's gonna be ruined after that one for a bit. Yeah. And I just recovered from fucking smoking dubs. So tell the people at home, is there water in your rig? There is no water in my rig. He's been doing driveways this whole time. No way. 
Yeah, Masonic Flex right there. Drink water though, guys. Drink water. It's for your body, not your rigs. Jesus. Damn, Masonic Drive Boys at a thousand fucking forty. If you're celebrating at home with dry rips, let's go. Kudos and to 831 you. E Rock. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank Merry you. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you, Christmas Hawk. Thank Happy you. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa, Gazuntai, all those places. <laughs> all the days. Oh man. Ripped. How many holidays? Hawks out. Yeah, how many holidays left until uh <coughs> the next step oh we gotta take a little break before we do our next step. <coughs> oh hands up is that what, like running a mile i don't know my dad used to do that you know after i get stoned like this one of my favorite things to do on christmas is indulge in a nice christmas feast oh fuck yeah you know what i'm saying and uh you know it's it's funny because in america we tend to indulge in maybe a roast turkey or a ham. And we'd like to have some eggnog, you know? That's the tradition here. Maybe even a pumpkin pie. But in other countries, they have different traditions, you know? We talked earlier a little bit about in Mexico, they had, uh, what did you say they had, Mace? What was the name of oh. uh, eggnog there? Rompon? Rompope. Rompope. Yeah, they fuck with that heavy down there. I'll fuck with that for sure. <clears throat> and they also have tamales, right? Tamales, yeah. <laughs> and buñuelos. Buñuelos. And you said you can make those at home? You get some tortillas, flour tortillas, and some cinnamon and brown sugar, baby. Oh yeah, real simple. It's like a churro on a tortilla. Same type of flavor. Now you've been making those for a long time, or what? I made some in fifth grade for a little project. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. We might have to do Young a collab. Mason. We'll do some medicated ones, and I'll give you the raws. On. Bro, Let's medicated buñuelos, get it cracking. You already got the lucha libre fucking uh, yep. thing going, so. Yep. It's all in the family. <laughs> now, in different areas, there's different traditions. In the United Kingdom, it's kind of similar to America in the sense that their dinner often includes a centerpiece of a roast or a turkey, a ham, yeah, a roast normal. beef. In Italy, they use uh, seven fishes, um, bacala, fried calamari, different things of that nature. In Germany, they actually roast a goose, so a little bit different over there. But in Japan, one of my favorite traditions of all, you know what they do in Japan? KFC, baby. KFC. Yep. How'd you know that? You been doing your research? Man, you know what? The the fucking Christmas college shit me and this fool went to. Four college. years of it. CCC, Four the triple C's. Toss yeah. them up if you've been there with Roll us in the comment section. If you went to the Christmas community college, you already know what's up. Right. Japan is known for their KFC. And not just that, they have a sponge cake decorated with whipped cream and strawberries. That's my Are you favorite. kidding me? So we're all going to Japan so next Christmas. Is that a thing here? Do they have that? No, but we need yeah. to make it one. Let's have a Japanese Christmas. No, I made some the other day. I got the angel food cake. And <laughs> oh yeah, you up with the whipped cream. people do that here. Yeah, oh. I love whipped cream and strawberries. Yo, it's the cool whip too, and the you know the. I eat a lot cream. of them. like, like you know how people have like half and half always in the fridge or yeah milk. I always have whipped cream in the fridge always just in case. For put on your coffee. I eat a lot chocolate. of ice cream. Oh, okay. I, I'm, that's I underestimated, I, but it can take things to the next level. I eat a lot of ice cream. He's an ice cream I, boy. And, and I have my hot chocolate phases. Um, now, the one of the other cool traditions, not every place is cold during Christmas. Other parts of the world, it might even be summer. So, in Australia, they have barbecues for Christmas. Can yeah, you imagine that? That's on crazy, the bar, right? You know, <laughs> going outside, having a little summer get together, going swimming on Christmas. Crikey, crikey. Crikey, Crikey. is Crikey. appropriate in this context. Crikey. Yes. There's a dango eating my baby. Crikey. I'm surprised that hasn't been a banned uh, word yet. People, yeah. you know? But Crikey. for now, we'll out, we'll out. It's like in the UK, they say bloody. Bloody. Well, they say a bloody lot more hair. than that in Australia oh, too. Shit. You die, you can't come in again to celebrate it. All right, have we talked about our favorite Christmas songs we have, right? I think J so. Jingle all the way. Yeah. You guys know? Can't think of much, much. Can we talk about songs. the Japan Terps yet? Oh, we can't have Terps in Japan. So if you're in Japan and you know anybody that's going to change a law for us, hit us up because we want to come indulge on a Christmas, but we can't bring Terps. Yep. Let us know. Put us in jail for life. We're smoking in with Japan. Holla at your boy. You know, shh, don't Jeez. tell nobody. Just keep it on the low. Ninja Terps. Don't get in trouble. Do you know uh, one of the common things to do around this time of the year is people go and get pictures. They do a little uh, family Christmas card yeah. and they send them out. You know, everybody has it on the fridge. Have you seen one. this? Write that down. We need to do one for the. You people. guys should do one. It'd be We're funny. going to Sears after this, honey. I always remember my family would get them every Christmas, and that'd be like the only pictures they had like of them for the next year, and then you get the like updated one. But did you know the first Christmas card was actually designed in 1843? All right. By a name 
uh, by a dude named Sir Henry Cole. So he was actually a sir, and the cards were initially controversial due to the depiction of a child sipping wine. <sighs> That's what kids did on Christmas, right? You know? uh, Especially in France. He yeah. was keeping it one. That was the tradition. Right. How else are you gonna get him to go to bed? No. <laughs> Jeez, man. I no. condone alcohol with kids. Yeah, don't yeah. don't do that, don't guys. Do that. Yeah, no, nah, it's all a joke. But anyways, yeah, France. 1800s. Yeah, France. But did you know not all legends of Saint Nick or uh, Chris, uh, Christmas traditions depict a man that's nice or jolly? In the legend yeah. of Krampus. Krampus. Has yeah. you, have you ever heard of this guy? Krampus? Nah, man. Yeah. Well, he's got some followers. But the legend of Krampus in Alpine folklore, Krampus is a horned anthropomorphic figure who punishes misbehaving children during the Christmas season. It contrasts with the benevolent figure of Saint Nicholas. He's the coal giver. So this is the dude, not only is he gonna give you coal, he's gonna come through, rip your heart out in the night. Is he like a form of Satan or some shit? Anamorphic it says, so I think he anthropomorphic. So he can probably go between what animal shifting and yeah, person. That's crazy. Don't come they, through like a werewolf. Don't, don't they call uh, Satan, another name for Satan is like uh, Nick or some shit like that? Lucifer? Nah, they call him Nick too. Nick. Yeah, there's Nick. like, 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 uh, trust me, I've read about for people somewhere. named Nick. I was gonna say, if your name's Nick in the comments below, block yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, but let us know what they call him. Yeah, I think so. I'm almost. But don't say his name three times or you might summon some fucking Beetlejuice. Beast. Beetlejuice. No. Uh, we talked about Christmas trees being evergreens because of the ever life of them. But did you know the first artificial Christmas tree was also created in Germany? Germany has been killing the Christmas game for a long time. 19th so. century, it was made from dyed goose feathers. So if you're vegan, I'm sorry. The history of the Christmas tree is not vegan. Old Nick is what they called it. Old, Satan. old Nick? Yeah. Is that why they call him Lil Nicky in Adam Sandler's movie? Probably, yep. Uh, Look at that. Is that a Christmas movie? Um, nah. No. Well, maybe now it is. <laughs> now that we know all this. Now it is. That was yeah. a good movie. My dad took us to go see that movie when we were kids. Really? And I and I was telling Diana, oh, let's let's watch it. Like it's a fine movie. Like the only part that's like really bad is, you know, when they're shoving the pineapple up Hitler's ass, of course. <laughs> but when, with the guy with the titties on his head. Yeah, that guy. Huh? So. We pulled the trigger and we watched it with our son. Did he, they enjoy he it? He thought it was the funniest thing in the world. And I'm As like, cool, because this is the only time you're going to think it's the funniest thing in the world. Because yeah, when you get older, know. it's going to be like a silly movie, you mm -hmm. know? Right now, it like just like when I was a kid. Right now, it hits different. It's peak funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little Dude. Nicky. All bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All bad. They can't make movies like that no, no. more. No, we got to enjoy the ones that we had from our childhood. Man. They barely even make stoner comedies anymore. Jesus. Like Adam good. Sandler's still around though, just cranking out whatever yeah. he wants with the homies. He's over there doing feel good movies. He's one of the top 10 shit. wealthiest uh, movie guys, movie stars right now. What about his outfits though? Like He's, he's comfortable. I'm, I'm he wears something shorts. like this would be hey. like an actual outfit for him. This is me. This yeah. is me all day, man. You're going to wear it for the rest of the day Me now. and Adam like Sandler. Sonic Sandler. Basketball MF shorts. MF Santa. Yeah, long, long like shorts. Super random, long. Random shoes. He's that got feel shams good. on. He's got comfy money. A fucking ha a shirt that says USA on it or some shit. Yeah. Or like I chased your banger. <laughs> <laughs> just just living his best He's life. He's got that man. fuck you money. He's good. He's chilling, man. He's got good movies under his belt though. <clears throat> and he used to do music. What's too, your back favorite Adam Sandler movie? Mm. That's uh, a good one. He's Longest got, he's Yard got... is sick, but obviously Happy Gilmore and uh, yeah, like Happy Gilmore. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. That was a good one. Uh, Billy Madison. Those are classic. Yeah, those are all good. Uh, but then now he's had like that recent one, like Uncut Gems. That's like a serious one. Oh, yeah, that was. I got to go that. with the comedy though. I think yeah. I seen that. It's a good one. Yeah, I think I did see it. He, he just did a. Like he voiced a um, an animation too that's on Netflix. Yeah, they just like Leo or something. The DreamWorks shit, or mm -hmm. something like that. Man, shout out Adam if you ever want to come on, man. Hey man, door's open for you, bud. I'll let your boy right here. <laughs> yeah, come on through. Say what's he's up. He's on his way. Babs. Yeah, but he is. Are oh, you texting them? Sick. Hell yeah. Yep, just got the text. Cool knowing someone from LA. All right, guys, I think it's about that time. We've been saving a little surprise for the end. Oh, there's still more surprises. <laughs> more surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, surprises. I'm into it. Has anybody seen my dab rag so I could wipe the shit off this banger over here? Oh, right there? Is that it? That orange one. Well, there it is, tucked away right here, buddy. Ha ha ha. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. 
Wait, so right. yeah, these dabs are working. I'm feeling pretty high. <clears throat> yeah, they are. Yeah, they're working, Darby. They're working for sure. And now we're gonna work a little bit harder for our last dab of the Christmas celebration. A very Masonic Christmas. Today, we're gonna be going in on a little game we like to call... How high can you get? No, D-A-B. Oh. Okay, D-A-B, I like that. <laughs> it's a little bit like horse, a little bit like Yahtzee, a little bit like get high as fuck. Skate? Kind of. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Pretty much. Yeah. Wow, that is a thick banger. Look at that dish on the bottom. Yeah, look at that dish. Look at that dish. Damn, oh, that's, that's a, a thick dish. boy. Dude, look at that dish. That's a thick banger, You baby. see, no dog, I brought my own dish. Damn. That's an eight-incher. I don't Can need Can I hold yours. your banger? Nah, bro, I brought my own dish. I got a whole pelly for Dude, it, Dude, can you hold my banger for that me? That takes two hands. Listen, keep it on my pelly. I put my dish in there. Can't even... Can't even light it, but it's like it's like a, a pool player that fucking brings their own pool stick to the. <laughs> like, yeah, yo, you want a dab, bro? Ah, bro? Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on. That's it. Brought my dish. Oh shit. <laughs> That's Damn. what they say. I was gonna imagine I'm pulling up his side and pulling it out of a holster. Yeah, you have it like sign on us, bro. Brought a double dish. What? The, where'd that come from? That's actually what we're doing today. So we're going deep dishing, huh? Double dishing, deep dishing, not catfishing, whatever you want to call it, but don't call it anything else than DAB. That's or, or crazy. Friends. You guys ready for this shit? What are those? These things, are eight right? inch bangers from Black <laughs> Market <laughs> Glass. Shout out Black Market Glass. We broke the last uh, banger that they gave us and surface area gave us. Rich Apex put a, a pearl down it, got it stuck. We tried to heat it out. It shattered. We found out if you ever get a pearl stuck in your banger, put it in the freezer upside down and it should fall out. But don't Friction. heat it up like us. We are idiots. And anything we do on this podcast, you should not do. Do not try it at home. So what we're about to do is a game called DAB and you can play this at home if you want. This is a game where... Where... You start getting a dab right Refining now. the rolls. Okay. You roll a dice. <clears throat> Boom. A single dice and uh, multiply the roll by a 0. 0.1. So that's the dab size. So right, it dude. could get up to a 0. 0.6. It okay. can go up to a 0. 0.6. The player or observers can count aloud. <laughs> so while one of us is hitting it, somebody has to like count or tap like the seconds to keep the time. Or you can literally pull up a timer. I'll pull up a timer. Okay. This will be fun. Uh, how long the dab is and that is that and that means how long the pillar is actually levitating So it's not just how long you're hitting it. It's where the pillar is at So if you don't get the pillar off the ground That's only worth 10 points and however long you hit it is your total if you get it up to the 20 It'll be 20 times the amount of seconds. So if you do it three seconds That's three times 20 60 points and so on so you can so, get points quick then yeah if you take it all the way up to say the 80 point mark and you do that for only three seconds that's 240 points see if you can't do math well get a calculator aka an iphone my heart's racing remember when we had to carry uh scientific calculators to class i remember that yeah half you at home probably don't know what we're fucking talking texas about texas instruments yeah you used to be able to play like pitfall on them bitches. those were yeah, taxed though yeah though yeah. man yeah you had to drop some money on those but my brother was in those classes. I would yeah. just, I was not. You know, I just wanted, with the I just wanted the watch with the numbers on it. Yeah, just let me call my friend real quick. It's not a phone. <laughs> but today we don't need a calculator. But we well, actually we might actually we might. I got a stopwatch and a calculator. We're, We're gonna go in. So this is a 10 mil. So it's actually gonna fit on your rig perfectly. But you're gonna have to take the mood mat to the side of the table and. He's been ready oh, for this all been, day. See, that's somebody who knows. He's already been assessing the situation. As you can see. He's not an amateur. Is that gonna fit? I could probably do. Can I use this as of a? Of course. As a, as, a, as a thing right here too. Double down. This might be the perfect size too. Let me be careful. This thing's wonky. I can't. I gotta watch it's my. It's only hand. eight inches of glory. Gotta watch my hand. Do something like this. Come here, baby. I'm a little nervous. I did this yesterday you as an unboxing, and it was rough. Dave, will you please get me another one of those insert pillars? Will you get me the slick back one? Slick a back. pimp named Slick back. They gave us two different inserts. Uh, one is kind of like uh, textured, and one is slick back. And I'm gonna use the slick back because I used the textured one yesterday, and it was tough. So I'm just gonna tell you, 
it's hard to get them you gotta like hit it full tilt usually uh see. where are those black boxes at those are the carb caps we oh need, the carb caps we need the those little carb are... cap qvc those puppies oh yeah see shit. <laughs> maybe honestly a marble would work better than this maybe that's why we got fucked yesterday but you have a marble see dude that shit ain't going up bro Fuck that. Let me see what you got <laughs> up in there. It's rigged. Oh, shit. Be no, careful. Now I got to just test it no. out. Like what I had to do was push this down a little bit when I was hitting it and just hit it literally as hard as I could. I, I just like crazy. Let me see this shit. Hey, I, I... Dry run. Yeah, that motherfucker stand up. It didn't lift. Do you think it's a bad design? Oh no, my ass can't what, make it go up. Do you think up. maybe with the hash it makes it go up? Maybe that should make it go up. I don't fucking know. We're gonna find out. That was a heavy duty hit. It did that to me at first yesterday, but then I hit it as hard as I could and it went up. And maybe it's the rig? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's like the perfect function or something. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Both shots are perfect. <laughs> it's too perfect. Yeah, it's like a fucking jet engine. It spins it so fast it goes back to the future. No way. I'm gonna rip a hole through the bottom. I got poop. Is there another pillar, Dave? <laughs> I got to slide it in there instead of letting it that's drop. That's what I did too. Yeah. Yeah. You let the that's shit long drop. drop. That's what <laughs> <That's laughs> <No>. too. <laughs> Ding! I, so if through. you're using these things, slide them. Have the banger to the side and let the <laughs> let the <laughs> insert slide to the bottom. Because if you just drop that shit, that's eight inches impact, buddy. Yeah. That's glass on glass. Um, the bad way. See? There you go. That's what you're in like for. It. God damn, that shit's not easy. Big What'd money. you do? Switch the insert? Yeah, that one's a little bit lighter. So the texture work. Oh, so it does depend on that. So yeah. we're going to have to use the same style. And then maybe even a hollow pillar would let you uh, control All the All right, so here's some more. But these motherfuckers high well, score is like 900 degree. Maybe a pill instead of a pillar. Thank you. Good to you. All right. Okay, there we go. This is what I used yesterday. We got yeah. options. There, there you go. So God. that's what we need to use. That's what I was thinking. Sit down before you fall down. Let me try these. You're just hyperventilating. I'm about to pass out. Right? Yeah. And oh, my. Oh, shit. How'd you do that? It's this pillar. Okay. That's what I'm going to use, too. Wow. He almost blew the cap off. <laughs> he had to slow he down. This I saw him throttle down. I almost down. just dropped it straight in exactly what I told people not to do. He was about to hum it right at nine for a second. All right. See? Now we're getting some tech. Throttle it up. <laughs> <laughs> so if we can get another safe. one of those no. safe safe all right all right I high use. score gets the letter first one to dab win so we're just going to start the game today and then if you guys want to keep following along on the game subscribe to our instagram page that's where we're going to be posting it you got to subscribe to the ig page we're going to have little games going along if you get one of these bangers you can challenge us bring it on let's go any temp you got to roll one dice gonna roll two dice instead you can roll uh, too. I, don't I guess I got some melt right here. We could probably I probably have enough for both of us to do. Melt it. might hold the banger down. There's like <laughs> you're 100 percent right. Let's ain't, ain't no chronic gonna hold me. We got that fire. That's greasy. Right. I just figured up the ante a little bit. I know. Well, we could do like a 1.2 tops if we do two dice. Well, if you want to do two dice, I'm not gonna say no. It's just you know. Do two dice. Have and Merry do, Christmas. Do We're doing it for you. Again? <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Can you even light that by yourself? Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. You got to roll the dice first. No, let's just do one dice and let's get this cracking. <laughs> do it. Let's go. Like eggshells and windshells. All right, here we go. A six? I'm hoping for a six. I'm trying to get extra you need a six. right now. If not... You can always go in bigger than it than it rolls. You can just claim six. I just figure, you know, go... go four. Go four. Let's point do four. point four. That's Sometimes, eight. you know... We you know? Point four also. You got, got a got six. six. Oh, you do? <laughs> I'll just take a... Why don't you guys split the difference and both go 0.5? No. Let's just, you know, let's just get high. How do you even weigh this thing? Do you guys have a scale around here? Now we got the Predator. Oh, what is that? Oh, weigh the dab? Yeah, yeah, yeah we did have a scale, it. but yeah. today we're just going to eyeball it. Sick Christmas. ass foods. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just like it's a trip. Dude, thing, I haven't huh? had a scale in so long, man. It's yeah. been a minute. <laughs> they need a scale They're when pretty you got cheap seeds. these days. Hey. 10 bucks hard hey, for break. <laughs> what should we, what should we do? Super Boo? Blue Mosa? 
or uh, Chem Banger. Let me take a little whiff real quick. Chem Banger is like the gassiest, but these are the fruitiest, which would probably be good for big dabs. God damn, man. I'm gonna fucking be dead after this. Oh yeah, good thing it's the last dab. Isn't that what you, you wanted? Can enjoy your Christmas. Yeah. That's why you came here. That's why we're all here. Look together. at the banger. What about Chazington. the banger? Chazington. <laughs> It yeah. doesn't even look bad, does it? It's out of control. We need two torches on that. You don't have it. He no, he's talking about his banger in the basket. Yeah, oh. let's do let's do two. Hey, he's yeah, just looking at a here. dead man walking. Get up in here, big dog. Brother! Shit. <laughs> what happened? Hold on. Uh yeah, here. You good? Here we go. Yeah. You that do shit, higher up. That shit You go up. up. Right here? Yeah, yeah. You go the upper portion out. Like this? It. Yeah, not quite that fast. I mean, how high do you want to bring the Hummer up? Yeah, how high do you want to bring the Hummer up? The Hummer's going up. Dude, that thing sounded like a jet taking off. How high of a Hummer out to take you trying to We're about to get rippered. <laughs> hot dabs and hotter rippers. Can I dab some melt off this? Or are you, you guys... can dab anything you want. You can dab whatever you like. Don't be afraid. We're about to go in, all right, guys? Yeah. This is for all the little boys and girls. Merry Christmas, kids. I'm Masonic sorry, I'm Christmas. Only, only try it on hot dabs. I probably, we're going to need butane for ours. But we're going to go in and you got a timer for Mace? I'm ready. Let me see. I got. Oh, we got the Predator. Predator me? I don't even worry about that. Big Brother. So oh, at wow. the top, oh. you're coming in at 780 on top. And at the bottom, you're coming in at 1,040. All right, we're coming in. What does that look like? You gonna do that? That looks like point four. Hey, do you want to do any of this? Yeah, uh, give me too? some of this too. Sure. That's the super boo for the show. Shout out Guru Cannabis. Jeez, let's go, buddy. Go what, over here. What are we at right now? We're at bottom is reading nine hundred or eight eighty, eight sixty. All right. Top is reading also around the same. All right, I got like a bunch of your boof on there, big dog. I feel like that's the biggest point four I've ever seen in my life. Let's go. Tell me, what are we at? What are you trying to go in at? It's at 880 at it, I want to go in like at 700. Oh. Tell me when it's at 720. Okay. Probably like that's like a safe this. number. Yep. What are we at? What are we at? 840. 840. The bottom inch and a half is the hot part. 820. 800. The top is going to be cooler, so the top is at 650. All right. Let's just, oh. Now you're at 800. <laughs> Darby? Yep, let's go. Nice, So you gotta say like that ring, so I think that's 10.30. Oh, how many seconds did yeah. it? It is 5.72. Wait, one, two, three, four. Hmm, so, the, he also got four to five seconds here, so we'll take the higher score. God damn! So you said 4.72. Four, four, that was a big one. 5.72? So you got like four to five. But I started a little late. I don't know if you go by the first pull or the second Either way, I'm just taking that real good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all proto type. It's point. all proto. All right. He got three scores right there. So That's he got he six seconds at 30. So God that's damn. six times 30. 180. 180. At what 10? He went in at like fucking 800. 800, yeah. <laughs> Does that equate into it? I, yeah, I guess now I kind of have to match that because I'm not going to just leave my hand in. <coughs> he did a huge dab. Look at the aftermath. This is Yeah, funny. he did like point. <coughs> did like a grand eight. plus. Yeah. That was full melt. It was like a point seven. Yeah, I think it was like point eight. Seven. That was probably, yeah, it was like a point eight. Yeah, it's a fair. Plus a gram and then I took probably like point three ish mm -hmm. out the jar. I'm fucking high as a kite. I'm gonna do this. Big <laughs> accomplished. <laughs> no. well, that's how you fucking don't indulge, okay, guys? Here, where you watch the dad safe. That's a proper home. indulgement. <coughs> okay. The top's around 600, the bottom's right around 880, 870, 860, 840. There I got Hot dabs. Now let it get to like eight. It was already at eight. Mm. God damn, I need to take this shit off. All right. Woo! Little by little. That shit was fire. All right. I'm winding over here. I'm blossoming or fucking just dying. <laughs> 870, 860. Projectile vomit. 850, 840. <laughs> 
Mm. You send it at 40, nice. All right, you got to pay at attention. 38, 20. <laughs> you can start the timer when I have it helps. Yeah. Holy smoke. Uh, went all the way in. You're good. Go. Good. Yes. Fuck me. <laughs> Savage. <coughs> Mission accomplished. Getting high as fuck. Four point three seven at four. <coughs> oh. Don't try this at home. This is a disclaimer. This is not intended to be done at home. These are professional <laughs> on a close set. Set. If you're gonna do this, don't. Uh, contact a physician. If you do this, don't. But contact a physician. That's <laughs> <laughs> that bien? Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. That was fun. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. You saw how that went. And if you're a real one, you smoked at home with us also. Masonic had to dip a little bit early. <laughs> he had a lot of chimneys to get down. Masonic Claus is busy today. Too hot. 790. Damn, I can feel my heart exploding. Every really? Grinch, the Grinch's heart's growing, I think. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Milk was a bad choice. I can feel it growing in my chest. Masonic's not new to this. Masonic Claus. He just got done delivering the toys. Fucking dead. That's how fast he went around the world, everyone. Jeez. He's back. He just Christ. delivered all the presents and now he's back. Yeah. Uh, back. You're alive. Holy oh, smokes. Ah, oh, man. Just like last time. <coughs> <laughs> With the Ross and the wheel. Motherfucker. Oh man, I might have to throw up. Let me see. Fuck, I drank like three coffee. Where's the bathroom? Where the fuck is the trash can? It's in the bath. Oh. Yeah, Christ. If you don't want to do the last out, I'll just rip it too. Let me see what's up. <laughs> uh, this guy got me dead over here. Oh, it's like my eyes are about to pop out of their sockets. Like being assaulted. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. That was all bad, bro. I was just telling them the Grinch's heart is growing. I can feel it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I heard everybody from Patreon. You saw it. Oh. Masonic lived again. It's a little reincarnation. It's just like uh, last year's tradition is Masonic coming back after a puke and rally. So I guess that's going to be our thing. We were wondering what our tradition would be, and that might be it. Oh, man. Fucking bad. Masonic, you did a great job. We made it through the gauntlet. You, uh, uh, what did you say mine was four seconds? Four point. I can even do math. Right three now. seven. So oh, that's shit. times four. So at yeah. 160, you beat me. Oh, fuck. So Masonic gets the D. He's currently ahead in the challenge. I'm never playing again. <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody says. So we might have to change the name of the game because nobody gets past one round. Damn. And that wasn't even with his bonus points, though. I can still barely He got talk. a times three bonus. Because <laughs> he went three times bigger than his normal lab. Man. All right, Masonic. It's been a very Jeez. Masonic Christmas. What do you have to say to the people? What do you got going on next year? Buy seeds at MasonicSeeds.co. That's all you got to know. MasonicSeeds.co. Buy seeds. That's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs>
Ho ho ho, MasonicSeeds.co. And, uh, you know. How many different flavors you got on the website? Too billions. Many. Too many? Billions and billions. You name it, we got it. Hmm. And if, if they don't got it, you <laughs> name it and they will get it. Or it's out there and he just hasn't listed it yet. Oh, All right, Darbs, this has been another Christmas spooktacular. It hasn't actually been a spooktacular, but it does get scary sometimes when you bust out an eight inch banger. Thanks everybody at home for joining along. We hope you're having a great Merry Christmas. Mace, thanks for joining us. Thank you guys. Thanks Mace for coming by. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. <laughs> we'll see yeah. you guys next year. I'm coming to Chaz all your bangers. Yeah. Hide them. <laughs> Hot dabs out. Phew. For the full uncut episode, subscribe to the Patreon. For the full episode, check out the One More Rip YouTube. Good job, Darby. Finally got it. I know. It was the Christmas magic in there. It was before. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Patreon, for always being there for every day. Yeah, thanks, Patreon. Thanks, Patreon. If you want to play the black market game, you better be prepared because it's fucked. But uh, you can tag us and uh, we'll play. Yeah, bring it on. Join the Patreon and we'll play the black market. Let's go. Great. And then. Hey, hey. <clears throat> Is that me again? No. Jesus Who Christ. Darbs. Yeah, it wasn't me this time. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Alright everyone, try god. to keep breathing. One, god. two, three. God help us all. <laughs> I'm not gonna I think I quit smoking after today. Nice. I mean you smoked enough for a week. <laughs> that was the last yeah, one. Okay. Good job. Good work, everybody. Good work. 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 Thank you.